make sounds. I just heard a shot or something. up this morning. It's called Shirley's Cove. That's Quebec over there. This is Ontario River. It is uh, 8.08 a.m. Monday, October 8th. <laughs> All right, I just turned the van on first thing in the morning. We've gone 42 kilometers, thereabouts. Now, yeah, I haven't turned this on yet. I want to show you. No bubbles. Look at how quick the water is the next day. Now I'm going to turn it on. Fucking right. It's producing the meat. You can see it's producing. All right, we were just at Cora's for breakfast. Delicious. It was very delicious. No. No. We can see. Got bubbles going on. Okay, so I just turned it off. I want to see how long it takes the water to clear up. This is interesting. All right, this is Arn Pryor. Look at this beautiful waterfall. This is the main Arn Pryor Bridge, and they got this beautiful waterfall going on. You can see. We're going to go up to the park where this little river meets the big river. What Kylie looks like after I've gone to the bathroom. I'm recording you. And I'm recording this beautiful sunrise in this beautiful place. And there's Phoenix. Holy cow. So here we are at the Iron Fryer Park. Gorgeous. Kylie, stop it. All right, so we are here. In the town of Iron Pryor. You may be Kylie. Okay. How you doing? Alright, here's the latest invention, uh, the latest uh, PSSP. Now this is four singles, all in parallel, in this little container, it's as many as I could fit. Here I'll show you. It's all airtight, I just checked for vacuum, it's perfectly vacuumed. You can see four single PSP, PSSPs in uh, parallel wiring. So they're one unit now. That comes together, and you can see vacuum. All right. So that's gonna go with the other two I've got going on here. So this one, as I recall, this should give me another 20% on my fuel economy. Another 15 to 20% this one at about what? One and a half, three, so that's six amps. That's gonna be six amps altogether. 
Each one of those runs about 4 amps. So we got 8 amps and 6 amps is 14 amps. 14 amps coming out of the system at any given time. And uh, that should make about 35 to 40% of our fuel. Uh, the fact is, is that I had the timing set too high and I blew up two of my projects because of uh, backfires. Oops. Uh, but yeah, it's just the timing, it's nothing else. So, we're rebuilding. Alright. So, we've wired all three of them in together now. We have to check for leaks. There's gonna be a leak or two guaranteed. No question. Do what we can. Now we're gonna turn it on. That's coming. How's that doing? Why isn't that working? There we go. Okay, so that needs to be uh, tied down here, right there. Okay, so this is about as leak-free as I can make it. There's the slightest little leak somewhere, and I don't know where, and honestly, I've done everything I can. So, we're going to turn this on. Okay, I know what's going on here. Uh, these plates still haven't polarized and the water still hasn't capacitated and that's what's going on here. It's actually just getting its polarization and charge up right now whereas in these guys already have it going on. So, it's not bad production. This is adorable. So here we are on the edge of Ottawa River and Kylie has decided she wants to go play in the water. <laughs> There's Phoenix. That's Kylie, looking so forlorn. Can I come join you? Okay, you pose for the picture, you can come join me. There is an amazing uh, sunset here. This is Ottawa River. I'm in Arn Prior, Ontario. This is just amazing. Kylie. Hello, Kylie. Kylie. Say hi. Kylie. Hey, Kylie. What are you doing? <laughs>